Hello everybody, my name's Clay. I'm the Georgia Bottle Picker on eBay. Today's video, I'm going to be showing some of the best jars that's in this jar collection that I've got. I've made one jar collection video and it shows some of these jars I'm going to be showing today. Uh, it was in the last video, but I wanted to show all the best jars. I bought like three different uh, jar collections and I'm putting all the best jars that I've got together in this collection. Just to show them off, see what I got before I start listing them on eBay. I'm going to start listing these jars for sale on eBay at some time after the first of the year. But I wanted to make this video before I've done that. So let's go take a look and see what all I got here in this uh, fruit jar collection. They're some pretty good ones. Some of them kind of common. And I'm going to be moving around some too. I got these jars in about three or four different places. And... I'm just going to move my camera to each spot. I have them. We'll look at them at each spot. But these, I brought these are still in boxes, so I brought these in here to, to look at these in the box. First one here is a root mason, root script quart. And we're going to try to go through these kind of fast. And this is a Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason half gallon. You really can't see the green in it, but it's got a green tint to it. It's not a Ordinary green. It's, it's pretty. It's got a neat, nice little color to it. And this is a half gallon ball standard wax seal. That's a unique jar. It's a. They got a sticker on it that says odd shape. I guess cause the way the shoulders look. It's a good looking jar. Half gallon. And this is a quart special mason, wide mouth, Salem, New Jersey. I'm not familiar with that jar. I guess that's Ohio quality mason, quart clear. And that's a banner half pint. Clear. And this is economy, half gallon. It's light pink. It's got a lid to it. That's a nice big jar. Genuine Mason with the banner. Mason's in that banner. It's a nice looking jar. And this is not a rare jar. It's a snuff jar. I have about 10 or 15 of these with the lids. This is in this, this Helms Company. Let's see, New Jersey. It's on the lid. But these are in good shape. They clean. I probably got about 10 of them, 10 or 15 of them. And then I have this Helms Railroad Mills. This is a snuff jar with the lid. I'll probably have about 10 of these also. These are in good condition. And this is a bowl mason pattern. And the reason I brought this a half gallon, it's a clear one. These clear ones, this is a true clear jar. It will turn amethyst if you put it out in the sun. That's a nice jar, big half gallon clear. Ball Mason Patton. And this is a Michigan Mason. Looks to be clear. Might have a little bit of aqua tint to it. That's a pretty neat jar. Presto Supreme. Half gallon. Square. This is the S on the top up there, Mason Patton 1858. When they got a number or a letter on them, it makes them a little more desirable. It's a half gallon too. That makes it good. Mason Patton half. No, this is a pint. Mason Patton. It's a clear. The reason I picked it up because it's clear. And the clear ones, the true clear ones are hard to find or harder to find. 
This one got broke. I found it broke in the box. The American porcelain line. That was a good jar, half gallon. It's got some nice embossing on it, but look at that. That's sad right there. Sad, sad, sad. It still looked good on the shelf. Just display it. You couldn't see that broken part. It probably got broke during moving. And this is a half gallon safety wide mouth mason. Salem, New Jersey. That's a big, nice jar. Them things look good sitting on the shelf, these big half gallon with that big, pretty embossing. And that's got the cross, the cross mason improved quart with the matching lid. Mason improved CFJ on the back with a matching lid, that's dust on these things. That's how I got them. Mason Improved, this is a unique jar. I've never had this jar before. This is a pint. Mason Improved, clear, with a lid. It don't have a screw top, the band. But that's a pretty neat jar right there. A root pint. Those root jars are pretty to me. That script writing root root mason pint. And that's a mason with a number five right there. Patent, November the 30th, 1858. This has got some nice whittle marks in it. Crude looking jar. That's a pretty jar. This is a pretty neat jar. Jewel jar, made in Canada. I'm not familiar with that jar either. It's clear. It's got a pretty neat dome lid there. And this is a porcelain lined quart. Some embossing on the bottom. Lock Port Mason Improve Pint. And this is a clear Mason Patent, November the 30th, 1858. And that five's kind of deformed there a little bit. But this is a clear jar, and on the reverse, it's got NCLCO. I haven't looked that up to see what that stands for, but this is a true clear jar. It would turn pink out in the sun. It's a pretty jar. Can you see the color of that? That's a pretty color. Green. It's just a block lettered mason green. Let me see if I can get something white to put behind these jars so you can see. The green, that shows it a little bit, but not the real true color. Not really. It's got a pretty color to it. And this one's got another unique color. That's a block lettered ball perfect mason pint. Got a pretty color to it. You can't really see it. It's a light green color. Another Mason with the star on it, 1858. That's a pretty jar. It's real thin, real thin glass. And I have several of these right here. This is a in, this is a size in between the quart and the half gallon. Can't remember. I remember the, it's an ounce. Got a certain ounce name to it, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. But I probably got eight or ten of these. They're a little bit taller than a quart. This is the Marion uh, the Marion jar Mason. That's got some nice embossing on it. These jars are always pretty. This is a quart size. And this is another half gallon clear. That's a true clear jar. Mason Patton, 
November 30th, 1858. That would turn pink. And that's just a, a half gallon ball improved mason big jar. That's another mason with a big number five underneath mason pattern. That's a big half gallon fruit jar. And that's another root, root mason quart. And this is the Golden State. That's a clear half gallon Golden State jar. It's a pretty jar. That would turn pink. This is not a rare jar. It was in this box. Clark's, Perlis, Pint. And this is Misery's Champagne's Salad Dressing. Pint, clear. That's a pretty cool jar. Got some nice embossing on it. Quart size. And this is another wax sealer. Pittsburgh. PJ Smith and Son. PJ Smith Son and Company. It's pretty crude. That's a pretty jar. It's a quart size wax sealer. Embossing around the shoulder. Nice jar. That's a half gallon Clark's. It's a big old jar. That's a fruit keeper. That's a pretty jar. Fruit keeper with the lid. It don't have the metal closure, I guess it's supposed to have, but that's a pretty jar. It looks bigger than a quart, but I guess that's probably a quart size. It's pretty. That's them two jars I was trying to show you the color of in the video. You can get a better look at what color they are right there. Nice green color. That's all of these in these boxes. Now we're going to move to the next area. All right, let's look at these. There's a half gallon Keystone Mason. Improved. Got that Keystone design there. This is a half gallon with the ball in script above the Mason Patent 1858. That variation, Bolt Mason, half gallon. That's got a pretty color. Can't really see it. That gives the color off a little bit better. This is a Swayze, improved Mason half gallon. That's a nice pretty jar. That's a Quart Lightning. Got some tape on the bottom of it. Let me get that off. That's a standard mason. See, it's got amber swirls. Oh, I see the light amber swirls in it. No, you can't hardly see them. A little bit there, amber swirls in it. These jars have always been pretty to me. It's a quart ball improved square. It's got a pretty color to it. Ball mason, that's an odd shape one there. And the color is beautiful. It's got an imperfection right there in the glass. But that color is beautiful in there. And here is a quart globe. This is an odd color, ball perfect mason quart. That's just the only unique thing about it. It's just an odd color to it. That's a crystal with the club with the lid. Crystal jar. The embossing's real weak on it, but it's a quart size. The victory. 
That's a pretty jar with that nice closer on it. That's a pretty amethyst colored mason script quart. Got a pretty color to it. That script writing's always pretty to me. And that's a half gallon ball perfect mason amber. These are the ones that come out of them thermoses. I've taken thermoses apart before and got these amber jars out of them. That's a gem, half gallon gem. Got a lot of whittle marks. It's hard to see in the camera, but it's, it's got some nice whittle marks to it. Half gallon standard. That's a half gallon The Mason script. Woodbury Improved Quart without the lid. Here's another one of them script Masons. This one don't have the Mason. It just has Mason on it. Clear. Swayze Improved Quart. Atlas Easy Seal. Amber Quart. That's a pretty good jar. That's a daisy. I think these daisies are pretty good. The Daisy. F.E. Ward and Company. Pint. That's a pint size. That's a pretty color. It's got a green tint to it. Atlas Mason Patton. Another pretty green. This is ball, just three L's, ball. It's a pretty color. Mason CFJ. I'm not sure what size this is. The improved butter jar. It's a big old jar, it's fat. It's got the lid and the band. That's a pretty good jar. The Weir's Jar Quart. That's a pretty one there. Ball Perfect Mason Green Quart. Nice color. Nice embossing. This is a different ball sure seal. It's a nice color. Uh, packed in St. John's, Bury, Vermont. That's a neat jar. I've never seen, I've never had that jar. And I've sold a few jar collections. That's a pretty light pink Mason Patton 1858. Quartz. That's a nice color, look green. Just a Mason block letter, Mason pint. The Clyde clear pint with the lid. That's a pint Mason with the shepherd's hook underneath it. Hard to see the color of this one. That looks like a cornflower blue. Atlas Mason Improved Pint. This is a nice color here. It's a light yellow looking. And it's just Mason arched block letter. I wish I could get a better look at the color. It's, it don't show the color good. And this is a pure honey. Pint blue jar. I'm not sure about that jar either. I never had it. And this is an amber mason block letter. Pint. A pink. Mace. This is an improved mason jar. Pint. 
And this is another crystal. Got the right closure on it. Pint crystal jar. That's a good jar. And this is a globe pint without the closure on it. And this is the Marion jar. It's got some nice embossing on it. It's a pint. Pretty. And there's a pint red key mason. That's a Sears You Save It pint. Some of these size, some of these jars, the right size are good. This is the pearl quart with the lid. That's a good variation. The ball mason is a big bold block letters. 1858, that's a pretty good jar. Genuine Mason half gallon. This is a half gallon block letter, just Mason jar. Those are pretty good. And that's a half gallon Mason with the shepherd's hook underneath it. Those do. That's a half gallon D Mason script. Half gallon globe, those are pretty good. The half gallon ones do pretty good with the closure lid. Nice jar. This is a Mason's with the keystone in a circle. That's a nice half gallon jar. There's a quart cohency with the closure. That's a pretty good jar right there. This is a quart square smallie. Nice embossing on it. This says Champion Syrup Refining Company, Indianapolis quart. I don't think I've ever had that jar. This is a pretty color. I'm just going to show it because of the color. That's a unique color. It's genuine Mason pint. It's a nice color. There's another Swayze. This is a Krug jar. It feels like the sides got mashed in when it was hot. Neat jar right there. The Mason jar of 1872. The Mason jar of 1872. I've never had that jar. That's a pretty neat jar. Got writing on the bottom. Whitney Glass Works. Glassboro, New Jersey, for another one of those uh, D. Mason jar of 1858. That one's, I've never had this one, D. Mason jar of 1858. That's a unique one with that big old slug plate. Got embossing on the bottom. That one says jar salt. I've never had that one. Detroit Salt Company. This is a quart. Greenish. This is Atlas Mason Patton quart size. It's a pretty color green. You see it here, but it's a light colored green. It's a light green ball mason. It's a pretty jar. You just can't hardly see the green color in this camera. Odd color here. It's a bluish green. It's ball 3L Mason. different colors like it's got amber or just it's got those swirls in it right there i guess you can see them a little bit right there those amber swirls in it that's a unique jar you can see them pretty good right there that's got a good color to it it's a, a greenish yellow ball mason hard to see the colors in this camera they're atlas green light green mason this camera's not doing these colors justice but and that's a ball d mason pint jar and 
this is a Flaskus Brothers. Got the bull head on it. Clear. I've had all of these. The amber one and the milk glass. Here's another. That's a light colored. That's got a lot of widow marks in it. Lightning. That's a pretty jar out there. Let's see if I can put this white behind it and make it stand out a little more. Lightning Amber Quartz. Here's one that's a little bit darker. Lightning Amber Quartz. That's three of these Quartz Amber Lightning. This is a light colored, I've never had this, light colored pink star. It's got that star in there. It looks like a starfish. I'm not familiar with that jar. But I have a red book that tells me the values of them. And this is a pretty neat jar. JB Fruit Jar, patent 1898. It's got that unique top on it. The top of the lid matches the top of the jar house. That shape got them square edges on it. That's a pretty jar. That's a neat jar. It says repo lid on it. So that might be a reproduction lid. It looks old. All right, let's look at these real quick. All a lot of these. I got about eight or ten of these uh, midgets. That's a midget with the cross at the top. Mason and Prove with the lid and the band. And a Mason CFJ improved with the lid and the band. Another Mason. CFJ Patton, 1858 with that lid. That lid's in rough condition. But I've sold just these lids for $30, $40 a piece. If they're in good condition. There's another Mason CFJ, 1858. That lid's in a little bit better condition. And this is a... Mason with a number one in the middle there between the Mason and the Patton 1858. That lid's in pretty good condition. And that's a Mason Patton 1858, but reverse has got the cross on it. Hero Glass Company cross. Got a nice lid. Or the lid's in pretty good condition. And I got another Flaskus Brothers. This one's got a different lid on it. Let's see. There they are, both of them right there. Flaskus Brothers clear. All right. Then I got this Amber Globe Quart. That's a good jar right there. All these Amber Globes are good. The Amber Globe Half Pint. That's a good one, too. And I got the Amber Globe half gallon. They all have the closures on them, the lids. That's a pretty good jar. Just want to do a quick run of all these, kind of a close-up. And here's just a bunch of fruit jars that are, they all, some of them pretty good, but some of them is more common. There's a bunch of them up here are in here. Those boxes back there are full of jars. I got a big jar collection. See this box is full. The box behind it's full. 
This box is full of jars. That box is full of jars. The box is full of jars. You see the ones behind them full. All those are full of jars. The box under that's full. This box is full of jars. And all these boxes are full of jars. See some in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the videos. If you want to, you can leave a comment down below. And I thank each and every one of you watching my video.